Born on July 24, 1897, in Atchison, Kansas, Amelia Mary Earhart was the daughter of Samuel Edwin Stanton Earhart and Amelia Amy Otis Earhart. Earhart's early years were spent in adventurous outdoor activities, which likely cultivated her later passion for aviation. Her educational journey was not linear, as she attended multiple schools and eventually enrolled in a pre-med program at Columbia University, only to leave a year later. In 1920, Amelia Earhart's life took a turn when she attended an air show in Long Beach, California. After a 10-minute flight with famed aviator Frank Hawks, Earhart was determined to learn to fly. She took her first flying lesson with female flight instructor Nita Snook and purchased her first plane, a bright yellow Kinner Airster she named the Canary. In 1928, Amelia Earhart became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean as a passenger. This journey catapulted her to international fame, but it was not enough for Earhart. Four years later, in 1932, she became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, a feat that further cemented her status as a pioneering female aviator. On July 2, 1937, during an attempt to make a circumnavigational flight of the globe, Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan disappeared over the central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island. Despite extensive search efforts, neither they nor their plane were ever found, leading to one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in aviation history, 